on 13. A man flies home to find his truck stolen from a parking garage near Hobby Airport. Now he's telling us why he's frustrated with the garage owner and the thief who got away so easily. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson is here now with the exclusive details and there are some breaking developments in the story, Liliana. Yeah, it turns out this story is going to have a happy ending. So you remember that right at four, I introduced you to Sean Coffey. He's the man who had his car stolen. Well, I checked in with him in the last 30 minutes. He says, great news, the car was actually found. He got a call from police today. They told him that there was an incident at the Baymont Windham Hotel near Hobby and that his car was there. So he is ending his day on a very happy note. But he says still, he feels like it's important that we're shining a light on this bizarre theft and he wants to know why nobody stopped this crime when it was happening. Sean Coffey thinks someone should have noticed something wasn't right. And to sit there and allow somebody to basically rekey it and steal it for three hours and nobody say anything or do anything to stop it is just it's beyond me. Coffee says he was told by garage staff that a couple came in claiming they had no IDs, no key and no parking ticket, but they owned that blue truck and they were getting a locksmith to come in and make a new key. I was so tired at the time. I was just like, oh, this is great. Coffee wanted to know how did no one put a stop to this? And we did too. So we reached out to a local locksmith company. It's very upsetting. It, it really is. It's Khaled Bakar says a locksmith who gets a non owner into a car and does not verify that they are the owner can face legal repercussions. And while there wasn't anything coffee could do to prevent the theft, people looking to employ a smith should look for a few green lights. Anytime someone legitimate comes out to you, they need to ask you for your gyro license and any type of proof of ownership. The couple who allegedly claimed to garage staff they did not have IDs should have been stopped, but they were not. You need an ID so you can be verified once the locksmith is inside and has access to the car's registration exactly. or bill of sale. They should always have something that will match. There was the fault of the Smith, not verifying their identities, allowing the couple to drive away with this new F-350, leaving coffee with quite a mess. So there were a lot of, a lot of things that, that gave them the opportunity to say, hey, wait a minute. Coffee tells me he was told to go back to the lot today so he would be able to get some pictures of that locksmith and the people who stole the car. But when he got there, the manager of the lot supposedly told him that they are private videos and he would need a court order to get them. I have reached out to the manager of the lot, but I am waiting to hear back. I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Oh, what a headache for that guy. Liliana, thanks for breaking that one down.